students i am mrs dhanya going to teach you english i am going to show you some actions here and you have to guess what these pictures tells you look at this picture what is the boy doing can you guess it yes he is brushing look at this picture what is the girl doing she is reading look at this bird what is it doing it's flying and look at the children here what are they doing they are playing with a toy car and just come back here and look at this picture what is the boy doing here can you guess yes he is eating and look at the picture here what is the boy doing here he is drinking now look at this picture what is he doing he is running and just look at this boy here what is he doing he is swimming and can you tell what is he doing he is reading and what is he doing he is writing now my question for you all is can you do all these actions yes some of these actions we can do and some of these actions we cannot do and here in in your english textbook the first lesson tells about two character one is a swan another one is a rabbit and let us find what a swan can do and what a rabbit can do and after knowing that just we can check ourselves what i can do okay now we are please listen to a dialogue between a swan and a rabbit here a swan and rabbit came together they are talking to each other let us see what they are asking who are you i am a rabbit my name is bunny who are you i am a swan my name is dolly i can swim can you swim i cannot swim i can hop can you hop i cannot hop i can fly can you fly i cannot fly i can run can you run i cannot run you cannot fly i cannot hop you cannot swim yes i cannot fly you cannot hop i cannot swim and you cannot run thank you children for watching this dialogue between the swan and the rabbit now i will explain to you while reading the lesson i want you all to take your english textbook this is your english textbook also you have to take your pencil and your homework book and then your eraser keep ready and meanwhile we will read the lesson and now take your book page number 2 english page number 2 you can see the lesson one i can swim okay now here are some action words are given on the top and the pictures are given below the action words are not given in the correct place you have to choose the correct place and write below the picture look at the first picture what is the girl doing 
and tell the action and write. She is jumping. Write below the spelling jumping here. See and write below here. And look at the second picture. What is the rabbit doing here? He is running. You can find here running spelling and write here below. R U N N I N G. Running. You can see a square here. What is it doing? It is swimming. The spelling is here. See and write here by saying S W I M M I N G. Now look at the last picture here. What is the bird doing? The bird is flying. The spelling is here flying. Say and write just below the picture. F L Y I N G. Fly. Now all of you just look and read. Take your index finger and put below the sentence and read the spellings and read the word. I'll show you how to read everybody. Together say W H O who A R E R Y O U U Who are you? The swan asked the rabbit Who are you? Then the rabbit said I am a rabbit My name is Bunny Who are you? Bunny asked swan Who are you? Here the swan is answering I am an a s w a n swan. I am a swan. My name is Dolly. M y my n a m e name. I s e is d o l l y Dolly. I can swim. I c a n can s w i m swim. I can swim. C A N can. Y O U U S W I M swim. Can you swim? The swan told her name that she is Dolly, and she told he can swim. Now, swan asked the rabbit to the to bunny, can he swim? The rabbit replied, I cannot swim. I C A N N O T cannot S W I M swim. I cannot swim. I C A N can H O P hop. I can hop. C A N can Y O U U H O P hop. Can you hop? Turn the next page, page number four. I C A N N O T cannot H O P hop. The swan told I cannot hop, and the swan told I C A N can F L Y fly. I can fly. C A N can Y O U U F L Y fly. Can you fly? The swan told, "I cannot hop. I can only fly." And then the swan asked the rabbit, "Bunny, can you fly?" The rabbit replied, "I C A N N O T. I cannot F L Y fly. I C A N can R U N run. I can run. Can you run?" Now Bunny asked. To Dolly, can you run? Then Swan told Swan. Dolly told, I cannot run. Read the spelling. I C A N N O T cannot R U N run. I cannot run. 
Y-O-U, U, C A N N O T, cannot, F L Y, fly. You cannot fly. I C A N can, N O T not, H O P hop. I cannot hop. U Y O U U C A N N O T cannot, S W M swim. Then the rabbit bunny told to swim. Yes. I C A N N O T not. I cannot fly. You C A N N O T cannot hop. I C A N N O T cannot S W I M swim. Y O U U C A N N O T cannot R U N run. I you cannot. Run. So, in this lesson, swan can do some things. Can swan can fly and swan can swim. And but who is bunny? Bunny is a rabbit. A rabbit can hop. A rabbit can run. Now tell me what can what. Cannot a swan do? A swan cannot H O P hop R U N run. A swan cannot hop and run. And find out what bunny cannot do. A bunny can't fly. A bunny bunny can't swim. Children cannot. The short form is C A N apostrophe comma T. Can't. We will read cannot. Cannot is a single word. No gap in between. We will be writing like this. And when we write the short form. C A N apostrophe comma T. Cannot. The short form is can't. Thank you students for listening. And then we will do the exercise.